this tip we're going to be taking a look at working with horizontal alignments and inroads and how to annotate those by viewing the stationing for those horizontal alignments. We're also going to take a look at how to change the starting station for a horizontal alignment and then also how to work with station equations. Let me begin by displaying all the horizontal alignments that I have loaded in my geometry project. I'm going to go to my geometry pull down, view geometry, and display all horizontals which will display all the horizontal alignments that are in my current geometry project. Now if I want to take one of these and display the geometry stationing for it, I want to go to my Civil Workflows task and select the icon for View Stationing. This can also be found underneath the Geometry pull-down, View Geometry, and Stationing. From the View Stationing dialog box, I can either select from the drop-down which horizontal alignment that I'm going to annotate, or use the pick icon, target icon, to come in here and select in my MicroStation view which alignment I want and then accept it. I'm going to load a preference here called proposed 100 foot interval. I'm going to load that, close that, and then hit apply. And once I have that now I can see here that I've got the horizontal alignment started stationing. And the starting stationing for this is 0 plus 0, 0. Now I want to change that to what's going to fit with my project here. So I'm again going to go to my task here on the left and pick the stationing icon. This can also be found again from the geometry pull down, horizontal curve set, and stationing. Now for the starting station for this US 18151, the starting station is actually going to be 489 plus 19.45. Once I hit apply on that, now I've got a new starting station for that alignment and I can restation it. And now you can see that the starting station is 489 plus 19.45. And that's how you would change the starting station on a particular alignment. Now if I had another alignment that I wanted to annotate here and work with the station equation, for example if I wanted to take this line here, what I can do is go to my stationing select the alignment that I want to work with which is going to be this one and this one starts at station 80 plus 89.40 and if I wanted to do a station ahead or back what I can do is click the new icon and define by station here so if I hit the uh, back station target icon I can select up and down this alignment where do I want that starting station to change? So for example, if I wanted it to start right at the intersection of the side road, I could snap into that, accept it, and now that's the back station, but perhaps the ahead station is going to be station 67 plus 00. And then I'm going to put the letter A for ahead. I'm going to hit apply and close, and now I've got a back and a head station that that location of that side road. I'm going to hit apply and close and now when I station this alignment and hit apply you can see here that it's actually stationing along the roadway until it gets to that side road and then it starts with the head stationing. Now there is the letter A or character whatever you want to put in there for the head station. If you don't want to see that letter A, all you need to do is toggle the drop station equation name, hit apply again, and it'll restation it, but this time it'll remove any alpha character that you put in front. It might actually be beneficial to use the head and back station when you're working with multiple alignments, and the way that I do this is by creating a station equation for head and back but then use the geometry name of the particular alignment that I'm using to help me recognize which text goes with to which alignment. Let me show you what I mean. If I zoom in here, you'll see I've got a bunch of stationing text going on here. And I've got two more lines that I need to station. What I'm going to do is do a stationing ahead and back station for this alignment on the right, which is Alt-1. And I'm going to create a new starting station equation and I'm just going to create it new. And I'm going to pick by station here, so the back station will be 521 plus 00. I'm just picking the next whole station. And the ahead station is actually going to be using the name of that geometry project, ALT1. 
and then using the same station again, 521 plus 00. So when I hit apply and close, now I've got essentially the same ahead back station, but when I go to annotate the stationing, it'll actually use that ahead station name in the stationing. Let me show you how to show you what I mean. So now I'm going to go to my view stationing and view stationing for alternate one here. And when I hit apply, the stationing will appear with the geometry name that I used as the ahead back station. If I do the same similar thing on the left side alignment, select alignment here, Alt 2, and then give it a new head back station. This one starts at, again, 518. I'm going to make it uh, 519 plus 00. And the uh, head station alpha text I'm going to give it is Alt 2, 519 plus 00. I'm going to hit apply and close and close. So now when I go and annotate the one on the left here and hit apply, it gives me the alternate two. Now I do have a preference set up here that is uh, left and right. So let me throw in the right here, load that, close that, and hit apply. And now I've got my two alignments. The one on the left here is alternate two. The one on the right here is alternate one. So again, just using the station equation name to help me station and, and keep track of all the numbers that might be on my screen. That concludes our tip with working with geometry, viewing your geometry, stationing, and working with station equations. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.